Well, a recent odor complaint filed anonymously by a neighbor has resulted in a local restaurant closing its doors last month, and that closure has state leaders now speaking out. Fox 12's Lynn Aguilar sat down with the owner. She joins us now live with more. Well, Riel, in the last hour that we've been here, we've seen multiple people come to the door for a meal, yet to realize that it is shut down with a note on the sign saying they've shut down because of a complaint of a neighbor. Now, we did talk to some neighbors in the area, and though we didn't find the one who made the complaint, they did tell me that they had no issues with the restaurant. The owner tells me he's already received two fines totaling over $2,500. That's we came to the decision to shut down so the fines don't build up. Right now, I cannot reopen. I cannot sell because nobody want to come in with, with a neighbor like that. Mm -hmm. So basically, basically, your restaurant is gone. Eddie Dong says his restaurant, Pho, Gabo, and Northeast Portland, has been open for five years without a hitch. That is until complaints about the odor coming from his restaurant started recently. I was frustrated, mad, because... Uh, I just serve food, and the smell of food been in the culture. It's a lemongrass, chicken, pork, and beef, and stir fry all that and pub. So Dong tried multiple methods to get rid of the smell. I grill my meat like after hour, like around seven thirty at first, and then that didn't work. So I I grill I grill at this location mm -hmm. and bring it down there. Mm -hmm. That's what I do in uh and. It seems like it's, it's not working. And on February 3rd, he shut down his restaurant. People that work there is unemployed. Mm -hmm. For me, financial hardship because I thought of my financial is at the restaurant. Mm -hmm. Uh, now it's gone. The zoning code states, quote, the odor threshold is the point at which an odor may just be detected. The closure caused Commissioner Rubio to speak out, saying in part she is very concerned, raising serious questions about the negative impacts of this policy. She also ordered the Bureau of Development Services to put a pause on odor complaints tied to food establishments. And Vietnamese American state representatives also released a statement calling the closure a dangerous precedent and troubling for cultural diversity in Portland. I really appreciate the state representative is doing for me right now and, uh, and the commissioner and the group of people that is helping me support it. They continue to state, quote, we believe that as currently written and enforced, the city's odor code is discriminatory and not objective by any known standards, leaving out certain minority-owned small businesses. I don't know if they're racist or prejudiced to all vegan mm -hmm. and, and don't like the smell of the meat. Mm -hmm. But um, to me, if they move in here at the residence, mm -hmm. they should know that. The restaurant is even out, even out the smell of the meat and stuff. Oregon Restaurant and Lodging Association is demanding the city of Portland to review its subjected unfair smell code. But for now, Dong says he has the support of other neighbors. Uh, people that eat over there, mm -hmm. now they, they come here and do it, yeah. And they tell me that it's, it, everybody says it's ridiculous. Eddie tells me that he doesn't know what the future holds, but he says that it does help financially when customers visit his other two locations in Happy Valley and Hillsboro. Reporting in Northeast Portland, Paulina Aguilar, Fox 12 Oregon. Okay, Paulina, thank you.